Scientists in Oxfordshire have developed a new device that can detect and monitor diabetes through a patient's breath. It's hoped the test could one day replace finger pricks to control glucose levels. In Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire, more than 43,000 people live with diabetes. 10% of NHS money is spent on the condition and its complications, equating to £9 billion a year. Many of the complications are caused if diabetes isn't properly managed. The new detector couldn't, could not only improve monitoring of the illness, but also lead to earlier diagnosis. Catherine de Costa has this exclusive report. Yeah. Nine-year-old Catherine Heron from Wantage has type 1 diabetes. She has to test her blood glucose level with a pinprick eight times a day. Well, it's been okay, but um, it's not the best of things to do. Mum Maria has to check she's had the right amount of insulin. Too much and Catherine could fall unconscious and fit. But the pinprick can be painful, particularly for young children. So replacing it with a breath test would make life much simpler. She's inflicting an injury on herself each time she does it. So to be able to prevent that would be brilliant for her. And just seeing how her fingers get so bruised from doing it and... It also takes her away from the normality of being a child, really, because she's always aware that she needs to do that. Here in Yarnton, scientists have developed a breath test which measures levels of acetone. That's a chemical produced when the body breaks down fat. It's something diabetics suffer from, so high levels of acetone indicate the conditions not being managed properly. One of the difficulties for diabetics is to regularly monitor their insulin levels and that leads to health complications further down the line. If they can have an efficient, effective way of monitoring their blood glucose levels that's not invasive, that doesn't mean they're going to be pricking their fingers, that will enable, enable them to take control of their diabetes and more effectively administer their medications. Although rare, some children have died because their diabetes has gone undiagnosed or unchecked. It's hoped the new device will improve early detection rates. Quite a lot of children end up being very sick before people realise they've got diabetes. Um, and if this sort of device could be available in a GP surgery, say, to measure acetone levels in the breath, uh, it, may be, it may be that it's much quicker to make that diagnosis. Early next year, the device will be trialled on children like Catherine with type 1 diabetes in the county. If successful, they could be used at home within two to three years. Catherine de Costa, BBC Oxford News. Members of a church in Oxford that's been repeatedly targeted by thieves.